Hey there, welcome to Product Marketing School. I'm your host, Nitin Karthik. As director of product marketing and a top product marketing voice, I'm keenly aware of the importance of continually sharpening the saw. And that is why on this show, I bring you important lessons from some of the best product marketers out there. And today, my friends, we are joined by Jackie Brown, who is a top product marketing voice and a fractional CMO based in New Hampshire. So tell us, Jackie, from your experience, what is one important lesson that you would like to share? Thanks so much for having me today. So there's so much that happens with product marketing. One of my areas that I'm most passionate about is the positioning. I have positioned over 20 products in just the last five years or so. And it's so important to have that to start. Have your ideal customer profile, understand what your market category is, and really at least three unique value propositions, right? Then the question I'm getting most frequently as I'm talking to some startups and scale ups is what do I now do with this? And the answer is really you need to put it everywhere. But how do you bring that to life personally if you're a founder or you're a leader in one of these organizations? And that's where I've been having conversations to say you can bring that to life in thought leadership. There's a recent study that I am fascinated by because it's giving me points about something that I've been talking about for years now. It's the Edelman LinkedIn study that came out recently, and it's showing that 90% of decision makers say they're more receptive to sales and marketing outreach by companies that do really valuable thought leadership content, followed by 75% say that thought leadership content influenced them to look into a product or service. To me, that's where it's, you need to take your positioning, you need to bring that to life in thought leadership and bring value to people, to the entire organization, your industry, the market, and how do you start doing that? One of the ways is LinkedIn. And I think we're all hearing a lot of, well, where do I start on LinkedIn? And the advice that I've started putting together and sharing, and I'm starting to formalize myself is, create content pillars based on your positioning and try to break that down into maybe just three content pillars that bucket how your posts are and try to post two, three times a week and think through how can you educate, inspire, and then every once in a while, just a small percentage of that, have a promotional post. Fabulous. Fabulous, Jackie. So folks, there you have it. Nail your positioning and Make sure that you educate, inspire your audience, and of course, do promote your product as well, but make sure all of that is balanced. Definitely reach out to Jackie for more excellent advice like this. And my friends, armed with that knowledge, let's make the magic happen.